Hello and welcome back to part two of our damage table with elements. In this part, we're going to go through and show how to apply damage types with different elements and to make them afflict different targets with different elements themselves to work out what multiplier should be applied to the damage they receive. So let's begin. So we've got our function we made. We're now going to go ahead and put this to the test. So we need to create some damage types to handle this. So in our content drawer, we're going to create, first of all, a blueprint class or an actor. And this will be the target we're going to use for practice. So we go open this up and I'm simply just going to add a simple mesh to this. And it's going to be a little cylinder. And like this. And we're just going to squish it down. Rotate it around like that okay and for testing purposes i'm also going to add a text vendor to this and we're going to pull that just above it like so and make it aligned to the center the text in the middle actually we're not going to write about just now uh, we'll do that in a minute so this target is going to have an elemental affiliation associated to it so if i go to the variables down here we're going to go down here and put in uh, element and that be a variable type of e elements and we click that and compile that okay so we've got all these elemental types for water grass fire associated here now if our thing doesn't have any elemental affiliations we want to make sure that this is set to an array and if it's set to an array that means you can have an empty array so if you're going to add a say a fire element to this you'll add fire and to the elemental array here okay so next thing we gonna do is i'm going to make the text here change to say what type the element is assigned to so we go to construction script to handle this and take up my text render and we do set text and on the value here we're going to do an append string on each of the elements associated with it so let's take out each element we get and we're going to actually let's take that off of there and on a constructor script do a for each loop on each element here Ooh, okay and on this other LRA element here, we're going to take this out and do it to string. Mm -hmm. And we want to build up that string that we're going to display here. So I'm going to make a simple variable here for display string. Just so it makes it easier for us to um, debug. And that'd be a single variable there. So we're going to take this out and do get, and we're going to append string. Okay, so the display string is empty at start, so we're going to put in B as a forward slash, and then a space, and then add another pin for C, which would be our array element. And then we're going to set that back to display string. So as it goes through each element, it's building that display string up and up and up and up and up. Okay, um, and then when it's completed, we're going to do set text, and the text is going to be that display string on here. Like so. So to show you this working, uh, first of all, we have to make elements here editable by instance. So we're going to close that, and then I can drag out my targets in here, like so. And what I want to do here is go to elements, add an element array for water, and you can see water has now appeared there. Uh, just facing the way, that's all. There we go. If I add another one to it, I can add. Grass, so it's water and grass. Okay, for example, um, I will remove that one there, and that could be water. And we're gonna make a couple more. Let's drag out this one. And this one could be grass, and this one can be fire. Okay, so now we've got those set up. We want to now make our weapon deal damage for different damage types. So the way this works is you need to make a damage type class. So you go into your blueprint class section up here and in the all classes section, you search for damage type. 
and we go select and we're gonna call this one base damage top and open this up so this could be like your parent class for your damage types and that will inherit from this uh the one thing we're gonna just do on here for now is simply just have a verb on it for the elemental affiliation that this attack has so you go element and change the type here to e elements and that's all you gotta do for that you can close that and then on here we can right click on this and create a child blueprint class of the base damage type and we can now do a fire damage type if i go into that now i can then choose what element is assigned to it over here on water grass or fire so i'm just gonna go to fire there okay and we'll do a couple more be grass damage type change that to grass there and lastly a uh, water damage type and there you go Okay, so we've got those different damage types and we're now going to make our gun shoot out one of those damage types so on the rifle actor that's already made part of this um uh, template we go into the rifle here and this is shooting out projectiles as you can see here first person projectile being spawned in so let's go have a look at our projectile open it up and we've got event hit happening here now at the moment this is doing damage and any impulse to things that are physics based we don't worry about that for our target so on the force here we need to apply damage and click apply damage the damage actor is going to be whoever it hits so other will go into damage actor base damage will do as 10 and the damage type class here will be what we want to use for our different things here so i'm going to go to fire for example and it will send out a fire damage to it and we'll do destroy actor on there okay so it's going to apply damage to whatever we hit with 10 and a damage type of fire damage type okay so that's that done we now need to go to our target and handle the receiving of that damage so on our target here on the event graph we're going to go and add the event any damage and on here we can test this out by doing a print string and we can print out the name of the damage type if we like like so so we if we hit this thing we should see it return uh the and print string fire there you go default fire damage type okay and they've got fire grass and fire there but they're all going to return the same damage type because that's what our gun is shooting but now we need to handle them uh, detailing what is the damage output going to be so this is where our common function library comes in we right click in here and get damage multiplier we want to take a look at this and apply this to our different things we need so we've got affiliated elements that's pretty simple that's just our elemental down here but the incoming damage incoming damage type needs to come from the damage type here now this is just going to turn up the basic damage type class it's not going to be anything specific so you'll need to either cast this to something or use interfaces to get hold of the elemental uh, effect in there because it's a damage system it's pretty simple we just use a cast for now so take the damage type here and do cast to base damage and the base damage here we're just going to get hold of the elemental type get uh, the element assigned to it and plug that in that into there like so and now we've got this damage multiplier so now i can apply this damage multiplier to the damage that's coming from here now because this whole function here is a pretty simple one it's just getting information and that's it really we can actually make this a pure function so go to the right here we've selected and choose pure and then hit compile you go back to the target you'll notice it's now a green one instead it just makes it an, uh, but it simplicity makes it simple for us to get information from it if your function is going to be simply just getting information or uh, doing simple calculations like this is 
you can use pure functions uh, pretty simply. So I'm going to take my damage here and multiply this by the damage multiplier. And then I want to print string the amount of damage I'm receiving. So in our game now, we go into here and our gun can shoot fire bullets. So when he hits the water here, it's going to do half damage. It'd be 5 rather than 10. When he hits the grass, it's 20 double damage. And when he hits fire, it do anything different. It's going to do about 10. And there we go. And all you do is swap out the damage types for the attacks that you have, be it guns or spells or whatever it may be you're doing. Uh, but that is how you do a Pokemon style uh, elemental grid. And there we have it. We've now got a damage table that allows us to multiply damage based upon elemental types. And obviously, you can add as many elemental types as you want, totally up to you and your own game design. But this system should support it. If you like my content and want to see more of it early before everyone else, Consider supporting me over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where your donations will help me to support the channel as well as give you access to all my videos early before everyone else. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks again. Bye bye.